What's going on Tekken Gamers? This is Z the CEO with your Tekken Gamer News. The Tekken World Tour 2022 Global Finals took place in Amsterdam last weekend, February 4th and 5th, and a lot of things took place. Things immediately kicked off on Saturday with the last chance qualifiers, with over 300 competitors from around the world. Some of the favorites competing were Rang Chu, Kakoma, John Ding and Chanel of South Korea, Bilal of Pakistan, Thai, Shadow 20 Z and Kotokor of North America, Super Kuma of France, and many, many more. Only four players would emerge to qualify for the finals. Chanel of South Korea took first place, Tekken World Tour 2019 champion Chikorin of Japan took second, John Ding took third place, and lastly, fourth place went to an amazing Nina player from France named John. After a very long day of LCQ action, shockingly, the day wasn't even close to being over. Immediately following the LCQ, finals pool draw would take place, and then even some pool play. Group A was the pool everyone had their eyes on, as it contained two of the players considered to be the favorites to win it all, Nia of South Korea and Arslan Ash of Pakistan. Perhaps one of the most storybook performances was from Galanda, who took fourth place in the finals. Check this out. He's a husband and father with two full-time jobs, can only practice about two hours each night and has no sponsor. Yet, he is the first European player to make top 8 at any Tekken World Tour final. Galanda first made a name for himself back in 2018 in the last chance qualifiers, where he came in first. This also took place in Amsterdam, so maybe that's the key. So ultimately, Ashes Gaming's Latif Bud of Pakistan would take the crown, coming in first place and taking home a whopping 50 grand. John Dean came in second place, and Chikorin took third place. As much as everyone enjoyed watching the high-level Tekken taking place in the Global Finals, nothing surpassed the anticipation of hearing more news about Tekken 8. Tekken developers Katsuhiro Harada and Michael Murray of Bandai Namco were in the building and took the stage right before Top 8, announcing quite a bit. First, Tekken World Tour 2023 is already booked and ready to go, kicking off at EVO Japan on March 31st, and then headed to the mix-up in France April 22nd through 23rd. Unlike Tekken World Tour 2022, this year's circuit will be offline only. No more of those online shenanigans. As well, there is now a global leaderboard instead of a regional one, not even dojos will be region locked, and challenger events are finally back, giving players even more opportunities to rank up points. While all that is great, that's not what the crowd and streaming audience wanted to hear. And after some playful banter by walking off stage, Harada and Michael came back to announce that they had a 35-minute Tekken 8 new game mechanics introduction video to show. <laughs> that's a mouthful, and that caught everyone off guard. The video, actually 37 minutes, features Harada and Tekken Project game director Kohai Akita thoroughly detailing Tekken 8's new heat system mechanics, showing off some of the gameplay and the new overlay. After the presentation, a character reveal trailer was shown for Nina Williams. The reception to her reveal has been quite positive, and folks are feeling her new look, especially her dual gun action. You can check out the new game mechanics video and Nina's reveal trailer on our site. Even after all of this information, Harada and Michael still had more to share. They dropped the bombshell by announcing that Tekken 8 will have closed alpha tests at select locations around the world, starting with EVO Japan. Sign-ups for the closed alpha will be available soon via a quote-unquote special website, as well as more info about additional locations. So stay tuned. During Global Finals Weekend, Bandai Nemco announced that they've contracted Japanese game developer Arika to work on the Tekken series. Arika is known for such games as Fighting EX Layer and Street Fighter EX, and most especially for the games having great rollback netcode. As far as the terms of the contract, Erika will handle full development work on Tekken 7, which includes game software improvements and updates, fixing bugs, and improving operability of online battles. Bandai Namco will remain in charge of game balance. Erika's role with Tekken 8 will be to quote, provide advice on our developed online battle algorithms and game response, as well as undertake production work to improve the user experience. Two more bits of news. After its huge success last year, Red Bull Golden Letters is returning next month, March 4th and 5th in the UK. Red Bull's Anakin is also returning, and this time with Tekken Legends Nii and JDCR. So look forward to that. Last but not least, congratulations to the man Arsene Nash who got married earlier today. That's a major life level up in an undefeated matchup. Arsene also announced that a Korea vs Pakistan team tournament is in the works. Keep your eyes open. Tekken Gamers, it's good to be back doing the news, especially with Tekken 8 on the horizon. That's all for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. More Tekken Gamer news soon. Peace.